morning everyone and welcome to our Friday assembly again. Let's start with the Star of the Week certificates. Okay, first of all, in preschool, we have Rowan for great enthusiasm for his phonic sounds. Well done to Rowan. In reception, we have William for super hold a sentence work. Well done to William. In year one, we've got Sienna for fantastic use of our measuring ourselves data to extract information and also to Isla for fantastic football at playtimes. Well done, Isla. Up to year two, we have Nathaniel for working very hard this week, completing all his problem solving work and being the first to complete the challenge. Well done to Nathaniel. And also to William in year two for his beautiful artwork of Lowry's Market People. Lovely attention to detail. That one's from Mrs. Hine. And also, William, you've got up two for great understanding of counting forwards and backwards when telling the time. That one's from Mrs. Bleasdale. Up to year three. Well done to Harry for much improved reading skills and fluency. Well done, Harry. And also to Poppy for really enjoying her reading and completing lots of books. Up to year four to Joe for excellent maths work on fractions this week. And then up to year five, Olivia for always handing in her work on time. Good girl, that's a good skill. And up to year six, Gracie for carrying her practical science experiments with precision, then providing excellent explanations relating to existing scientific knowledge and understanding. And finally, to Rhea in year six for an exceptional understanding of modifying language. Well done to you all. And now we move on to the personal development section in our assembly, thinking aloud. Today we have Mr Worthington, Prep Science Coordinator, and Mr Moretti, Sports Coordinator, talking to you about nutrition. 997, 998, 999, 1000. Oh. Mr Worthington, we need to film your assembly. That's right, just give me a second. So, when people talk about calories, they often talk about food. Now, calories aren't always a bad thing. Calories give us energy, and that energy can come from food or drink. Your body needs calories for energy. However, too many calories, and not burning them off through activities, such as walking, can lead to weight gain. Now, luckily, you children don't need to worry too much about weight gain, as you are very fit and active, Kids will generally eat between 1,600 and 2,200 calories every day. It doesn't matter whether you're a boy or a girl, it just depends on how active you are. The more active you are, the more calories you need for energy. High calorie foods, such as sugary drinks, sweets and fast food, quickly add up to too many calories. Now it's always good to have a healthy, balanced diet. A healthy, balanced diet, along with exercising and playing regularly, are really important in order for you to keep a fit and healthy lifestyle. You can burn off calories without even thinking about it. Going for a walk with a dog, walking up and down stairs, even changing your bed burns calories. Watching TV and playing video games is great. I love it too. But you've got to limit those things during the day. They will not burn many calories for you at all. Instead, it's great to get at least one hour's exercise every day. Me and Mr Moretti are now going to play a quick game regarding calories. Let's go. Yeah, hi Mr Worthington. I'm feeling very, very happy and confident. Yeah, there's no nerves at all. I know my calories and I'm going to be victorious. So guys, me and Mr. Moretti are going to play a game of higher or lower using some different foods. Now, a slice of white bread is 116 calories. Mr. Moretti, do you think an egg has more calories or less? So is it higher or lower? What do you think? Mm, I think the answer is lower. Enough is enough. Well done, Mr. Moretti. An egg is lower, it's 78 calories, fantastic. What do you think then about a cake? Is that higher or lower? I think the answer is higher. 
Fantastic, Mr. Moretti. Yes, it is higher. There's 237 calories in a slice of Victoria sponge cake. However, is there more or less calories in a banana? Mm, I think the answer is lower. You're on a roll now, Mr. Moretti. Didn't slip on that banana skin. It is 89 calories. Well done, so it is lower. Well, if a banana is 89 calories, what do we think a full pizza is from Domino's? Is that higher or lower? I think the answer is higher. Get a pizza this. It is 2,400 calories for a full large Domino's pizza. So that is way higher. Fantastic. Well done, Mr. Moretti. But is this pizza higher or lower than a mini Dunkin' Donuts? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I might have to ask yeah, the audience. What do you think, AKS? No! Don't not tell me you got this one wrong, guys. It is obviously lower. There is 131 calories in a mini Dunkin' Donut, so it is lower. Excellent, Mr. Moretti. Well done. Thank you for our short assembly there, guys, about calories. Now, some of you will be looking a bit further into health balance diets with Mr. Moretti and P this week. But before we go, guys, sadly, we lost Captain Sir Tom Moore this week, who was an inspirational hero who walked 100 laps of his garden and raised nearly £40 million for the NHS. I'm putting a challenge out to you guys to do 100 either laps of your garden, 100 times going up and down your stairs, whatever you like, as long as it's a physical activity that you do 100 times. Hopefully you can do that, guys, just to commemorate the inspirational life that Captain Sir Tom Moore has led. Now, thank you for watching this assembly, guys. Back to you, Mr. Silham. Thank you so much to Mr. Worthington and Mr. Moretti for your very exciting assembly. Now, moving on to our thought of the week. We can't run our AKS Holiday Club this half term, so what we're going to do is send out an AKS Prep School Lockdown Challenge house competition, and we want you to get out and about. So, for example, could you make a home for a wild animal? Could you roll down a hill? Could you go on a bike ride? Could you sketch a tree in your garden or local park? Could you use potatoes to make your own printed wrapping paper? Or could you learn a magic trick? So there's lots of ideas there to do over the half-term holiday. Okay, so that's it for today, children. Really well done for all your hard work this week, whether you're at home or school. Have a lovely weekend.